Hello, and in this video, we're going to use on shape to create ISO number 10. Uh, to do this, we're just going to create this oval cube and then cut out this hole or this uh, semicircle that cuts out through it. Uh, so, to get going, we have to figure out how big this cube is. So, if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tall. Uh, so, we start our ISO 10. So, what by document, name it ISO 10, and hit enter. Once it gets started, we're just going to start with our cube on the back by sketching, clicking the front, clicking on the front of our cube, and making that 10 by 6 rectangle. So corner rectangle, start on our origin. If I click, I can type in 10, enter, 6, enter. And that gives us that rectangle. I hit the green check to finish and then I can either shift E or hit extrude and I can click on that shape and we can see it goes back a distance of one, two, three, four. So we type in a depth of four and enter. Uh, I'm going to click on my view cube so we can see a little better. Now we have our shape and we just need this hole. Uh, this hole has a radius of one, two, three, four. Four, so if we or one, two, three, a radius of three or a diameter of six. Uh, so there's a few different ways we can do it. We can use the hole tool and place a hole in a specific location, or another way is just to sketch that circle on there. So we could sketch on the front, hit our circle tool, move it to the front, and make sure we're at that point in the center. Uh, so you can see it pops up this midpoint uh, indicator. If you look up here, it shows you a coincident, and we can make sure we're in the right location by dimensioning. So we click and we locate it. We click to place it, and then we make a diameter of six. Uh, you can see it's locked in place since we picked on that circle. If we want to try to dimension it, we can try to dimension it from the side, and we get a distance of five, and that shows us we're in the midpoint. Uh, you can click, and it accepts that. Uh, we didn't have to do that. That's a driven dimension since we've already selected that midpoint with our uh, indicators before our constraints as we selected it. Uh, then we select that location, and lastly, we have to extrude and remove. We click inside that semicircle and make sure to change that blind to through all. Click on your circle just to make sure it's going through everything and we can hit our check and that gives us iso number 10 hopefully this helps in your creation of iso number 10 good luck